Sean's kind of an interesting character in his uh, political wranglings in the business. Are there any doubters when this happens that maybe this is because Sean's scheduled to lose a title at WrestleMania, a way out, and not a real injury? You want to know what the truth of this is, in my opinion? Okay, I, y yes, there were many pol there were many people that believed, you know, Sean was, um, you know, Sean was working it. There was, there was, you know, nuclear. I, I just started a new column, nuclear heat. That's my new thing. So somebody said that I had nuclear heat with TNA, so I stole the nuclear heat. But there was nuclear heat at the time between Sean and Vince. The reason why I know that is because I was the liaison right smack in the middle. Vince was not talking to Sean. Sean was not talking to Vince. Sean would tell me what to tell Vince. I'd go tell Vince. Vince would tell me what to go tell Sean. So I was smack in the middle of it. But I have to say this, and, and I was there to witness all this, and, um, and I didn't appreciate it. And I mean, I, I've seen it numerous times since. In my opinion, if you go back to pre-attitude years, I'm talking about 95, I'm talking about, you know, the goon and, and T.L. Hopper right, and right. all those guys, okay? If you go back pre-attitude, there was one guy that was literally carrying the company on his back while, while, while the company was desperately holding on, and that was Shawn Michaels. You know, he was the champion. I can remember the programs with Vader, and I can, I can clearly remember Shawn was a company guy when he was the champion prior to the Attitude Era. Whatever the company wanted, Shawn did. I can tell you that firsthand. I was there. When Austin came along and Austin started getting hot, mm -hmm. I literally could see Vince McMahon kick Sean to the curb like yesterday's news. It's time to go with the hot new toy. And that, in my opinion, that's what Vince was doing. And, and that, that's what triggered Sean's anger. And, and my opinion, I think he had every right in the world to be upset. How does a Vince McMahon kick a talent to the curb? Is it less TV time? Is it losses on television? Like, what is attention, that kicking to? Attention. Just attention. Personal attention. Per personal attention. Back in the locker room. I, I remember when the, the day Steve Austin won the WWE title for the first time, Vince McMahon at, at the, the, the next TV said to me, Vince, Steve is your number one priority. Nobody else matters. You're to be with him, you know, 24-7, 24 hours a day. You know, he is the guy. So it was really just personal attention. Whereas when Vince needed Sean, you know, prior to the Attitude Era, you know, Sean was the guy. All of a sudden now he's got this new guy that's on fire and all of his personal attention is going to, to, to Steve. And I think Sean took that personally and quite honestly, I, I didn't blame him. I saw it with my own two eyes.